because my original file got, file got deleted, and I finished it at 5 in the morning with 3 hours of sleep. So, this will be fun. <laughs> Shakespeare can be to understand. So in this show, we decided to, well, modernize and summarize, summarize it a bit so that in the future, if you ever decide to see the actual Macbeth, you will at least have an idea of what's going on without jumping on your phones to Google the show at intermission. So with that, please enjoy Macbeth in 10 minutes or less. Narrator exits. Scene one. Evening in the Scottish Highlands. Enter witches. Where are we meeting again? Are you kidding me? We've been through this three times already. When Macbeth passes on his way home, that's when we're going to give him his prophecy. Well, we aren't going to meet him. Meet with him by hanging around here. Let's go already. Scene two, the throne room. Duncan on stage. Bring that man here so that he can tell me how the war, war is going. Uh, Malcolm enters dragging captain behind him. This is the sergeant who fought in the war. Tell the king what you say. No. I'm dying. That's beside the point. Report. Our generals Macbeth and Banquo fought well, and with their leadership, we defeated the invading Norwegian army. How can I get some medical assistance? Of course, you may go. Thanks. Exits, crawling off stage. Ross enters. Who is this? Nathan Ross. God save the king! I have come from fight to tell you the Cogar has betrayed you. But do not worry, he along with Norway's king have been defeated. We also got ten thousand dollars from this as well. Are you kidding me? That's the fifth Thanicador that's betrayed me. <laughs> that's it! I'm making Macbeth the new Thanicador. Go, Ross, and tell him. Of course, my king. I'll exit. C3, Scottish Highlands, night. Bad enough, we have to walk home. But it has to be raining as well. Oh, I know, but at least it's not far to. Which is enter. Who the heck are you three? <laughs> I'll hear like that. Hail to thee, day of glamis. Which two? Smack which one? He knows that already. Hail to thee, Dana Cador. Get to the best part already. I'll hail my bet. Thou shalt be king hereafter. Wait, what about me? Finally, I was beginning to wonder 
anyone was awake. Where is the king? Inside. <laughs> Freaked up Isis. Awkward silence. The, queen, the king leaves today, right? Yes. <laughs> Macduff enters. Wake the house. Someone has murdered the king. The lady enters hungover, wearing shades, followed by Banco and Malcolm. Could you please not yell? Yeah, Macduff, what are you yelling about so early in the morning? The king has been murdered. By who? or someone else may claim the throne. Are you nuts? Your father was just murdered, and we have no idea who did it. You should leave before his murderer gets you next. I'll exit. Scene six. Macbeth's castle a few days later. Enter Lady and Ross. I must thank you, Ross, for staying loyal to my husband. And during these dark times. It is only natural, my lady, since he is now king of Scotland. Yes, it was strange that Malcolm ran off to England so suddenly. I wonder why he did it. <laughs> yes, I do wonder. But don't you think your husband has been acting strange after Banquo failed to show up at the feast? Panic? Strange? Strange how? It's not like we had Banquo Quill. Uh, what are you talking about, Ross? Macbeth enters and runs around the stage shouting about Banquo's ghost before exiting. Seriously? Ross exits where Macbeth re enters. Knock that off! First you were in the party last night, and now the others are growing suspicious of you. If you are still worried, why don't you go and talk to the witches again? How will I find them? <coughs> How should I know? Just walk around outside. They'll probably find you. <laughs> <laughs> Think that'll really work? Why not? It makes about as much sense as the rest of this play. <laughs> How do you know? 
It's a Shakespearean tragedy. All of the women tend to end themselves uh, off themselves in one way or another in them. I'll shrug and nod in agreement before blackout. Enter narrator. If, all, if this is all still confusing to you, here's an even simpler version. Macbeth becomes a king by killing Duncan, and then has Banquo killed so that his sons can't be king. And finally, he has Macduff's fam fa family killed out in spite of Malcolm, Duncan's son, comes back with Macduff and an army. Lady Macbeth kills herself, Macduff, oh, Macduff cuts off Macbeth's head, and Macbeth... <laughs> Malcolm becomes king of Scotland. Enter captain. Or, which is Macbeth and Lady Mac, death, kill, 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 piss off Macduff, Lady dies, Macduff chops off Macbeth's head, Malcolm, king of Scotland. Aren't you supposed to be dead? <laughs> Not that end of show.